Blood unit reading green. Engine indicators reading green. We're good to go. Commence mission. Mission start.
time to begin. I really hope it works.
You have dispelled the fog of deceptions, and so we'll see the end clearly. <laughs> Dr. Rachel. Our drama has already been written. The rises and falls, the fear and doubt and pain. The restless god and I crafted the finale long ago. Only you, my loved ones, still refuse to play your appointed parts. You struggle in vain upon the stage that I have built. It saddens me that I must rewrite your lines for a far more tragic end. But at the least, you will be remembered. In this new mythos, you will be cast as villains. doing? They can't have you. They will never take away my, my Julius. We must stop her. The singularity 
Trinity could tear open! You. Welcome back, Julius. Nana. Captain. It's... It's good to see you. We can chat later, Julius. First, we gotta get you out of here. What do you say? So, what happened here? Before the devouring apocalypse could break free, Rachel destroyed the core that held you. She wasn't herself. Not anymore. Tearing away the singularity would cause untold destruction. Or, so Rachel said. Devastation far beyond that of an apocalypse itself. I see. That's why. My friends, I'm so sorry. If I'd been strong enough... Julius... You... You're not alone anymore. We're strong now. We're strong together. Every one of us. And Romeo. Yes. I'll follow wherever you lead, Captain. Everyone. Are you ready? Yeah! It's about damn time! Of course. I am ready to begin. And me. Let's do it. All right, Captain. At your command.
a light. This light is Romeo's power. Now, as you wished, I no longer speak with the restless god. Here, there is only silence. In that quiet, I can sense your voices. For the first time, I feel some measure of peace and serenity. It's wonderful. One final request. One last test for you all. One I know you will pass. Farewell and live, my blood. My loves. My children. Cell deactivation zone. Switching to auxiliary. All clear. Remember, everyone, you've got less than 30 minutes in there. Proceed with the utmost caution. Over. Understood. <laughs> Captain, do you know what happened? Where are we? Whoa, you don't think we're dead, do you? Maybe. <laughs> Look, no armlets anymore. Feels good, huh? No way! That's a sign! No! Oh, man, we're totally for sure dead now. Well, you seem rather lively to me. Julius! Libby! Wait. Died together? No, I don't think so. This is our world, reborn after the apocalypse. The apocalypse? You mean everyone in the Far East? The whole entire world's just been devoured? Nana, nah. take a look at the mountain in the distance. I'm almost certain it's formed of oracle cells. Perhaps. <laughs> Even the same cells that once formed the spiral tree. So, you believe the devouring apocalypse was interrupted somehow? Yes, in so many words. It's only a guess, but... I think the power in Romeo's god arc, his real power, must have changed the oracle cells. It seems something far more gradual now. Not an apocalypse to devour, but slow, like the shifting of the Earth's crust. So we stopped it. All of this is over. We think so. For the moment, at least, this devouring apocalypse is no threat to us. Its power has dissipated. All of this is Romeo. Yeah, thanks for helping out, Romeo. You're always awesome. Who could have known? <laughs> I gotta hand it to the kid. That power. Whatever it really is, managed to save this world. It's incredible. Yeah, it's really amazing. It's perfect. I couldn't have said it better. Such a beautiful world. Serene, lovely, bright. A place like this could be paradise. Maybe our world was always like this before the Aragami arrived. Hundreds or thousands of years ago. 
Maybe every site held such hope. Hey, guys! Look over there! A helicopter! A search party. You think it's for us? Time to go home. But first, I had a question to ask you. Captain. I, Julius Visconti, wish to be reinstated as a member of the Blood Unit. For now and evermore. Will you... Will you still have me? What the heck, you guys? You'd think he'd been gone or something. <gasps> it's impossible. Oh, and, uh, quick question. Where are we? Romeo! 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 Hey, Romeo! Romeo! <laughs>
want it. Hmm. Bummer. <laughs> still looks like you eat enough for ten people. But it's still only half as much as when we were god eaters. I'm hungry and not hungry. I think nothing could stop your appetite. It's been nice to have a moment of respite. Yes, indeed, Sheil. It's the simple joys. I hear you. I don't think I've ever been able to just kick it like this. <laughs> Romeo's all about moments of respite. Look at the little belly he's getting. Boop! Hey! Way harsh, Nana. It's not my fault that food is so delicious. And I'm making up for lost time. Since we lost our armlets and became human again, I've learned quite a bit. For the first time ever, I think, I've stopped to see how warm this world is, how subtle. I'm glad we fought for it. Yeah, I get you. Me too. It's a world worth fighting for. You're quite right. For reals. So, my friends, it would seem we're all of one mind then. It's time. Captain, shall we? Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. 